Ross, we head off to Southend, which is the second away trip of the week this weekend, and obviously the fans' tour of duty for this year. So, what are your thoughts ahead of this one? Yeah, so it's another uh, tough away game. Um, the sort of not maybe in the best form of late. They've had like four really, really tough games: Wrexham, Chesterfield, uh, Boreham and Barnet. So, quite sort of similar to them. Them four, them four games bunched together that we we had. Um, they got no points sort of out of that as well. So I mean, uh, no points out of that. So they're going to obviously want to bounce back and, and going to be looking to get a sort of positive reaction after those four games. And they're they're a really good side. They keep the ball well. And remember from the time they came to us and they moved the ball really well. They have got some really really good players. Uh, I assume they'll be in that sort of three five two and with the two up front and the sort of uh, the wing backs as well. And certainly bridge on one side gets really really high. So it's a real tough test, um, but. Again, we were always talking about those opportunities and coming off the back of obviously Maidenhead and Torquay in the league. So it's an opportunity for us to, to get some more points on the board, but, but we want to get back to winning ways and we want to have a real goal in front of obviously all the fans that will be coming for the Tour of Duty. Yeah, you mentioned obviously the game we played at the Ebb Stadium and, and that was a tough challenge then. Obviously you and James were new to it all then, but we got the win there. So, you know, can we do that again on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, we'll always try to win, of course, and we'll always be as positive as we can. and have a real go so um, it'll be different to, to be away from home and, and I, I assume they'll want to dominate the ball and um, want to be really sort of progressive with how they play so we'll have to set up and be smart and um, I know I know like from, from, from a fan's perspective we obviously want to be attacking in front foot and we'll always try to do that as best as we can and, and, and coming off obviously the back of mid here it was really really tough second half to do that um, that's not to say we don't try to do it, but yeah, we'll have a go and, and we'll, as long as we get our tactics and we get our setup and selection right, and uh, we'll have a real go of it. You mentioned um, after the game on Tuesday, obviously, you know, you, you want to be, a, you, like you said, there attacking on the front foot, and, and obviously with the additions of, of Jack Barham this week and Taff Campbell the other week, you know, and, and obviously with Jake there as well, who scored on Tuesday, you've, you've got a lot of options now, haven't you? Yeah, we do. I, I mean, Obviously, Jake did really well on Tuesday. I thought he was excellent first half, and he runs the sort of channels and runs in behind centre backs really well, and he caused them all sorts of problems. And very brave for a 20-year-old to sort of step up and, and take that penalty as well. So he, he's one where we always seem to stand here and talk about Tav and Barham and Innie and, and whatnot. So he, he's just sort of gone about his business in the sort of back uh, in in the background and and scoring goals and I think that's maybe four four for us now since he's come here and um, he obviously scored all the goals as well for um, Eastbourne um, before Christmas so he, he's, he's probably looking back he's had a really good sort of experience in senior football and, and we're very lucky to have him so he adds him and the other two boys are, are really add to our attack I think one of the big things we've got to do better is we've got to obviously when we, if we are defending we've got to counter better we've got to make sure it sticks better but we've got to be also brave and confident to, to find that extra pass or to find passes when maybe it's congested and it's quite hard to do so when you've been under 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 pressure or, or you've been on the back foot a little bit so we've got to do that a little bit better I think we're going into this sort of last nine games where our target is always the 50 points and, and we want to get there obviously whenever we get there but but that's the target and we need to be really brave and really courageous in the sort of last in these last nine games and obviously this week we saw um, two of our back line getting international honours, Hadji Minogar and with, um, called up to the Tanzania squad and, and Tyler Cordner called up to England C. So, you know, it might create a, a few headaches for selection, but obviously it's it's brilliant to see, isn't it? Yeah, it's great news. Obviously, um, Tyler's been, been certainly one of our standout players all season, so, so he's fully deserving of that call-up and um, obviously it won't have any impact on... On, on games days with us, obviously he'll, he'll miss the training session with us as he goes up to sort of play. Um, and obviously Hadji's going to miss obviously the Gateshead and um, Halifax games as well, which obviously is a, is a massive loss because his impact on our de- on our, on our, not just on our defence but on attacking as well. He's a real sort of attacking uh, fullback when he does play as a right back. So he is of course um, going to be a miss, um, but the both the the both fully deserve that call up and, and of course. Um, we're very lucky to have sort of two internationals within the group, and obviously we talk about Harrison, who's on loan as well. Harrison's also gone off on international duty as well, so there's three players within the group who have international duty, which is, which is really really positive. And in terms of you know, fitness and everything this weekend, how how is the squad looking? Obviously, we've 
we had a day off yesterday after the Tuesday game and you've only seen him today, but how's everyone looking? Yeah, I mean, obviously we've still got Ollie, who is um, not not quite ready yet. Um, he's still a week or two away, um, potentially looking at Tav. Tav, Tav, Tav isn't too too far away neither. Um, that's just, again, maybe a bit of precaution. Um, outside of that, yeah, I mean, we're, we're obviously Morgan's gone back to Swindon on loan and obviously we want to... I want to wish, wish Morgan good luck and, and his move back to Swindon and even going back to Swindon and um, he was uh, he contributed certainly I think back to the Chesterfield game where he started and I thought he did really well in the Chesterfield game so um, we obviously wish him all the best so um, yeah we're getting there um, nothing too too majorly concerning but you get to the end of the season and, and players get a bit tired and, and we did a lot of Saturday uh, Saturday Tuesdays and sort of January and February and I'm hoping that like fingers crossed we can have a real fit squad going until last nine really push on and, and like I said get to that 50 point mark cheers Russ. cheers Sam click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe are you in with a shot look below for more information